hello guys welcome back again in today's video i'm going to show you how to use radio buttons and it can be used to show a set of options side by side in which we can select only one option but if you don't need to show all the available options side by side then you should go with the spinner although i have made a separate video on that topic so you can check that out link will be visible at the right top corner or in this video description Anyway, let's get started. Alright, now as you can see, this is an empty project. And in this activity main.xml, we only have a relative layout. Anyway, let's add a radio group first in this relative layout. So, angle bracket, radio group, hit tab. Then layout width, wrap content, layout height, wrap content also. Let's also give it an ID. Let's say radio group. Okay, now inside this radio group tag, we can add multiple radio buttons, as many as needed. So to add a radio button, just type angle bracket, then radio button. Hit tab, layout width, let's say wrap content, layout height, wrap content also. Now let's add a text attribute, let's say option A. Let's increase the text size so that it can be visible clearly. Let's say 24 SP. Then close the tag. Let's also set an ID. So ID. Let's say RB option A. Okay, now I'm going to add another radio button. So I'm going to copy this radio button and paste here. Let's change the ID RB option A to RB option B. If we need more buttons to add, we can do so. But this is important to note that all our radio buttons should be placed inside a radio group. Otherwise, system will unable to uncheck the radio button once it is in checked state. So to simplify this, I'm going to build this project now. As you can see, now we have two radio buttons. And no one is selected by default. Let's click on the first option. Option A is selected. And now if I click on the second option, which is option B. You can see that our option A is just automatically unselected and this is done by our Android system. So just remember this, all the necessary radio buttons should be placed inside a radio group in order to function properly. Now I'm going to move on to the main activity.java and let's see how can we initialize our radio buttons and, and set the on check change listener. Although we have to set the listener with the radio group only. Anyway, I'm going to create a radio group variable. Private radio group. Let's name it uh, radio group. Now inside on create, let's initialize it. Radio group equal to find vivi id r dot id dot radio group. Now we can set the listener like this radio group dot set on check change listener then new on check change listener hit tab perfect now in this on check change method we can identify which radio button is now currently selected by using this radio group or using this int variable so this radio group variable is actually representing this radio group and this checked button id variable will hold the current selected radio buttons id so here we are going to use a conditional operator like if else or switch case and i would like to go with the switch case statements so switch then pass this int variable checked button id then 
opening curly brace hit enter then case r dot id dot rb option a then colon now we can execute whatever functions we need but for now we are going to display a toast message and for your information i have already created a playlist on toast message also so if you need brush up check that out link will be visible at the right top corner or in this video description anyway now type toast then hit tab now here set a text let's say option a is selected okay now let's break this case well now let's do the same thing for our second radio button so i'm going to copy these lines then i'll paste here let's change the id to rb option b let's also change the text of the toast message option a to option b and that's it let's build the project again okay let's click on the option a you can see the toast message option a is selected let's click on the option b you can see this time the message is option b is selected so our on check change listener is working very well there's still few more things that i must point out here as you can see our radio buttons are aligned vertically one after another so if you want to align this horizontally then you can add orientation attribute in the radio group like this then type horizontal also you may have noticed that by default no radio button is selected in this case we can use checked button attribute in our radio group then pass the desired radio buttons id like this but if you want to do it from the java you can call check function on your radio group variable then pass a radio buttons id so simple also if you want to uncheck everything just call radio group dot clear check so guys i hope you got all the points but if you still have any questions or suggestions please let me know and if you feel this video helped you a little bit hit the like button share with your friends and also do subscribe for more contents so that's all for today guys see you soon in the next one